What is the best soup you've ever had? Potato soup. Clam chowder. Yeah, Gross. I second I second that. Clam chowder is the bomb. I'm not a soup person, but I do like clam chowder. Hell yeah, my man. I usually have to have it with, like, copious amounts of bread. Bread bowl? Yeah. Hell yeah. Like. I wish bread bowls weren't, like, $80, but. They're not can 80 do. they're more like. They're, they're, what I'm ten. trying to say is they're expensive as shit. I, ten? I have never seen a bread bowl for ten dollars. Where, where is this place you're going that has ten dollar bread bowls? I want, I want to know. Pismo. Pismo. Pismo Beach or Pismo the restaurant? Pismo Beach. Beach. Damn. I ain't going Clam chowder time. with, um, in the bread bowl. Not my favorite soup. It's gonna be real. Really? Yeah, potato What's soup. Potato what about pumpkin soup? soup? Never I had pumpkin soup. soup. I have never. Pretty had... sure that the main ingredient is not pumpkin in that soup. I mean, I don't know. That looks like a lot of just gourd. Uh, yeah. Melon. Well, that looks like that's a. That's, that's a, a fish. fish head. There is the fish. I mean, you don't. Oh, you idiot! You don't put that in the soup. Ew. It's called a stock, John. You put the fish head, the fish head in for the stock. I, I can't imagine putting a fish head in for stock would be any good. But I don't know. Is the big thing still here? It is not. Nice. You know what I've always wanted to do is I've always wanted to have. <coughs> bless you. Always wanted to have a crawfish broil. That looks. That good. would be fun. Yeah. I've never done that. Kevin, let's do it. Dude, do freaking craw crawfish. Crawfish. I've never corn, had that actually. Corns. I mean, like potatoes. I mean, I, I've seen. I've seen that. Like boil a mashed yeah, that, that stew. Is, like that looks so good. Where you, where you just like lay it out, and it's like you boil crawfish, potatoes, corn. All there's um. There. There's a website where you can like mass order them for fairly cheap, but I've like never had enough people that wanted to do it to actually bother ordering them. That'd be I'd do that. Yeah, yeah we should, should do be that. Sick. Yeah, like uh, get like this huge pot, just boil them. Yeah, that would be awesome. Get some uh, genuine uh, Louisiana cuisine going on. Let me look up that website again. See how much they are. I've never had crawfish. I bought them once. Frozen. They were all right. They probably they're better live. Yeah, unfortunately, yeah. if you want the freshest crawfish, you're gonna have to go to the south and yeah. catch your crawfish yourself. I wouldn't mind doing that combined with the hog hunt. <laughs> I think you need a license for one of those. Uh, no, you don't. Be for hog hunts. They are considered invasive species in the south. You can just pull over on the side of the road and take a shot at them. California is one of the only. To states be fair, we're gonna need some heavy ordinance. <laughs> it, California is one of very few states that actively protects hogs as a invasive species. Bullshit. And now, guess what? Down, down a little bit south of us, they're having problems with hogs because people don't want to pay the money to get the license to hunt them. Uh. So you can get 30 pounds of boiled crawfish. Okay, I don't want that. Oh, those are already dead. Uh, this one website sells boiled crawfish by the pound by uh, it's 829 a pound. Hit the tail! Hey, you got him! Hell yeah! Tim, take that ball and chain away from him. Use that as a weapon. Crushes balls a bit. Never mind, he exploded. Yeah. Yeah, take that. Hmm. What could I possibly do with this? Roll around on top of it. Good soup.
Oh, good, it shrunk. <laughs> huh. You know, speaking of southern food, I've always also wanted to try alligator out. Yeah, I, I, I'd try it. The one food that I honestly am not okay with having is bear. Um, what kind of bear? Any Or just any bear? Any bear. Why is that? I've heard that it's overly greasy. Oh. It, it, it's, it also does not taste good. It tastes whatever they eat. They don't eat the best. Yeah. And you also have a... You can also get trichinosis from it. Oh, jeez. So, which is parasitic. Yeah. Yeah, I, I would rather not. All I know is that if you eat a polar bear's liver, but you will die. You will die. Goat yeah, cheese. Goat cheese. There is also no cure for that as well. Mm -hmm. Even if time it, to make better. Soup. I want. What was it that's like in the liver? I, that, that's like too much of that the human can can't mercury? handle. It's mer mercury is that it? Yes. It's something, and I know fish has a lot of mercury. It's, why, it's in it. why people don't eat snakes a lot. It, the Inuit. The natives have known that about the polar bear to not eat the liver, so they throw it away or whatever. Wasn't it considered like sacred? Yes, I think <laughs> I think that it was can also you destroy that ice. Yep. Yeah, we can. I we can think, destroy it. I think it was considered sacred as well, but they also didn't eat it because it would kill you. And when I think it was British. Oh, people, it, we're here. I'm. I think it was when British people were trying to map that area. And they got stranded, and they ate a polar bear, and they didn't know why people were dying. Ah. Uh. Because they either punctured the liver, or I, I think liver was also part of your daily diet back Dang. then for, for, for British people, and they died not knowing. No, it was damn British people. <laughs> Beans and toast! Oh god, yeah, that's gross as shit, man. Uh, it's and, and bland. Uh, to change the topic a little bit, this one website I found sells alligator chicken nuggets. Hmm. Fried alligator chicken nuggets. $90 for four pounds of alligator chicken nuggets. You know, four pounds is a lot, though. Yeah. yeah that's a lot. I can't, like, they're sending them straight from Louisiana, so... They might get stale by then, who knows. Are they breaded? They're breaded, yes. They're also that, out of stock, apparently. That, for four pounds, that is still a lot. That... Jesus. One pound of alligator meat from this website is twenty two ninety nine. You know, it might be cheaper if you had a boat that to just go do it yourself and have fun mm -hmm. with it. I don't know, man. Hey, look! Hey, bombs! <laughs> Bombs. Crawfish, maybe. They're but... bombs. They were made in a bomb factory. <laughs> They're bombs. Honey, I... Someone made, someone specifically made a video listing all of the SpongeBob memes from each episode. It's over an hour and yeah. 24 minutes oh, long. Oh, yeah, I saw that. Excuse me, madam. Is this goat cheese going to heal you? What? Cheese? Did my husband move it? Ah, uh, where in the world did we put it? They talk about uh. they talk about needing heavy ordnance. Hitting yeah. cr hitting alligators with the 308 just pisses them off. So yeah, fuck California because you know um in this soup we currently when you got need some more salmon, you need more pumpkin. ammunition. <laughs> we got salmon, pumpkin, and time for goat cheese. Hell yeah! Yeah. Have you seen Have you seen videos of because of the limited magazines, you can keep on shotguns, like in in everything in, in, in countries, and fucking hogs almost like kill them because they don't have enough shells to bring it down. Well, in in Texas, that's irrelevant. In a lot of states with hogs, they don't have the same laws. But yeah, it's but I'm talking about like um, superb soup. It's like in other countries, like Britain. Yeah. Like the, the you can, I think you can only have three in the you can only have three in your shotgun at any time. Okay, for I don't know British gun laws, but I know for rifles they can have up to ten. If it's a bolt action, they can have up to ten. And yet the French make P90s that hold fifty bullets. 
The Belgians, but... The Belgians, sorry. I mean, France has pretty bad laws, too, regarding that. You know, they... What I find funny is that this is actually a very common occurrence in Europe, and it is not common in the U.S. by any means. And we have over 30... No, we have over 300 million guns in this country, and this does not happen. In Europe, they often have to renovate houses, okay? They will tear down walls or take the, dr the drywall off to replace it. They'll find guns from World War II stashed in there. Because the guy's grandparents fought in the war somehow, and they were so afraid after the war that the Nazis were going to come back, they hid the guns in the walls. And apparently that is extremely common over there for that to happen. Even to this day. So I looked up where to buy uh, live crawfish. First place that pops up. Nope, it's gonna Petco. Can you use the can you use the no. ball and chain on him? That, Caleb? Uh he's inside of a cage, so no. There was an opening. I would feel bad. There was an opening Buying in the cage. Buying it from Petco and then It would be <laughs> it would be. <laughs> yeah. It's like, oh are you gonna take care of these as pets? I'm like, uh Nah. <laughs> nah, we're gonna eat them. <laughs> you you didn't see the opening in the cage or whatever? No, but I'm gonna take this back over here real quick. There's also, they, I guess they sell them at the Fresno Seafood Company. That sounds right. I actually, there's a new fish place that opened up recently. Me and my brother tried it, and it's pretty good. Uh, what is it? Oh, yeah. I, I don't remember what it was called, but it's where uh, Marie Callender's used to be over by, uh, in that area. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, um, is it by the, is it by Sam's Club? Yeah. Okay, I know what you're talking about. I actually. So wait for it to go onto the right side. There is an opening. See that? Oh yeah. Well, can you even destroy it? I wonder. Yeah. There oh, you go. Okay, yeah. Okay. Cool. Get out of here. Turn into a bunch of little. I don't know what. Things. Yeah. You do that. But like back to hogs trying to kill people. I've seen videos where. They shot one hog. Go back. Okay, yeah. They shot one hog, and it was like either uh, an adolescent one or it was a female hog that they shot. And then the male gets mad. the The male goes into a rage, and I've seen one where the the guy luckily had a twelve gauge loaded with slugs. He luckily did. <laughs> it's the the hog ran at him to charge him and he by the time he was able to shoulder it and pull the trigger the hog was that far from him jesus and when he pulled the trigger the hog dropped yeah yeah uh, it, and if he was any slower he would probably be dead because once they get you on the floor it is not easy to get back up from a hog mm -hmm. So you want to hunt hog and crawfish? I probably would I mean, want to at least make it worth your time for going to the south. Yeah. At least. Well, I'd like to go to Louisiana one day. It always seemed like a cool place. You know, go there for Mardi Gras or something. Go real crazy. But uh, uh, I wouldn't want to go for crazy shit like that. You know. Well, I, I would like at least. Well, like I, to actually, see I couldn't it. say. I can't say much because I want. Uh, like, I would want to see that at least once in my lifetime. You know, Mardi Gras. The Southerners are a weird folk, John. Sorry for any Southerners we have watching. I, me and my, me and Josh want to go uh, to an EDC one year. EDC? Yeah. I think this actually what's, shoot? what's that? It's the, uh, uh, what is it? The Electronic Daisy Carnival, or whatever it's called. I'm unfamiliar with that. For EDM it's, music. It's, it's EDM. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I can't say the same, but... Okay, so yeah, that's what it's for. Okay. Uh, that would probably be fun for you guys, though. You like uh, you like that music? <laughs> yeah, I'm. At least I'm starting to get I'm starting to get into actually liking it. Of course, I just listen. I don't like go out of my way to listen to it. I just listen to whatever Josh recommends me. Oh, I see. What the hell? Excuse me, you? sir. Oh. S ice javelins. Excuse me. 
Dude looks like a hammerhead shark ice man thing. Dang. And this house is unsafe. I think we're about halfway done through this dungeon. We beat the mini boss. Yeah, that's usually the halfway marker. Usually. Except for the last dungeon, that was like. We fought the mini boss like two months oh, before we're he Oh, here. Ended. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. All the up above. The upper levels. Can I make it that? No, probably not. You can try. Just don't fall to the first floor, otherwise, you'll have to come back up here. Can you make it to that platform? Mm, well, only one way to find out. R run! Run! No. No. Nope. Oh, wait. Could you hit it? Could you hit it on something? Oh, maybe you can use the grappling hook to make it, like, swing back and forth. Or that, too. That could... Maybe... No? Does that no. do something? Maybe hit it at a lower angle. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. Plan? Yep. I feel like realistically the grappling hook would have worked too, but probably not in this. Hey, the man. game's coded. You got it. Smoggy! Damn, man. Okay, but can we have an actual Barbenheimer movie? Huh? <laughs> Barbenheimer. The only rich people get to do Barbenheimer. I mean, Oppenheimer was a pr pretty good movie. It was very good. Well, it's a Christopher Nolan film. What do you expect? Greatness. Nothing less than perfection. Yeah. Einstein will return. <laughs> I hate those posts where it's like, guys, did you see the post credit scene for Oppenheimer? <laughs> Einstein will return. <laughs> Einstein will return in Machete Kills in Space. Have you guys seen the Machete series? No. Oh my god. Kevin, we got it. Yeah, are, are you familiar with the Machete movies at all? I know Danny Trejo's in it. Okay, so... <laughs> That's all I know about him, too. Imagine, uh... It's made by Robert Rodriguez, and the point of the movies are... They're like... Supposed... They're like high-budget, low-budget movies. Essentially. So that doesn't make any sense, right? No, it doesn't. They have a high budget, but they're made to look like really low budget movies. Like they, like by what I mean is like, it'll look like a really crappy like action. It, it's meant to feel like a really uh, hokey action movie, but it's got all these big stars in it, like Robert De Niro and. Wasn't Sheen in it? It's yeah, he so plays the president. Yeah. Yeah, they're really hilarious, like, and really campy. Like, there's this scene where Danny Trejo's fighting these guys in this hospital, and he guts one of them, and he uses their uh, intestines to rappel down the uh, building. I have to be a dog. Hold on one second. You gotta be a dog. There's also a scene where... Uh, oh, shit, you, you, uh, what's, the, what's the name of that woman from uh, Modern Family? The, the, the Spanish lady. Uh, Gloria? I, I forget the actress's name. But there's a scene... Uh, in the movie where she's got like these chain guns but that's also a bra attack there there there's just a, I, I can't really uh, <laughs> I can't really result to just saying one scene because the whole movie is just full of like hilarity I got a soul for Poe hell yeah or the, the souls are Poe's there is nobody named Poe Dude, we gotta watch one of these days. We gotta watch like the first Machete movie. That and um, uh, from Dusk Till Dawn. Ah, I'm here. Finally, it's all making sense. Kind of. I, I can't only wait I have to fight these Yetis. So I only brought up Machete because of what you just said, Kevin, with the 
Oppenheimer will return. Oh. Because the second movie ended with, like, Machete will return in space. <laughs> and, like, the whole post credit scene is just a trailer for, like, a really bad Star Wars parody oh. with Machete. Is that what that one Cards Against Manny card is from? Could have been. I don't know. Oh, the in space one? The one that you guys call the God card. No, that that's a different movie. Yeah, Machete's so mean. It's even got that one actor that I really hate, and I actually kind of like him in that movie because he's just... Mm-hmm. He doesn't fucking do anything, and he's like the main oh, villain. Oh, I know where I can uh, Steven go. Seagal. It's got Steven Seagal. And... <laughs> They ramp him up as, like, this huge badass, and he just, like, gets instantly killed, like, at the end of the movie. Good. Nobody likes him. He was good in one movie. 